So a uh, struct is for grouped fields. And uh, it's kind of like how you would create an object. But using the word object with Go is like, eh. I've got like 70%. Like, I'm not quite sure how that works because it's not really object oriented, but this is kind of like objects. Like, there's no inheritance in Go, but you can embed types. And, uh, and there's a really interesting article, which I have a link for for you for in a minute, which you can read. So here's a struct. And I'm creating a type. And that type is person. It's of type struct. But then I could use that, right? I could create an instance. And, uh, and so here I'm creating an instance of a person and printing it out. And I could access the different properties with dot notation. So here's my struct, name and age, and creating an instance of the struct and, or the type. And then tell me if you got better, more syntactically or whatever, semantically correct wording, Daniel. And then uh, give me the name. And give me the age, right? So I did it for P1. I could have P2. So I could create many instances. You know, pretty similar. And uh, am I recording? I did hit that, did I? Yeah, that's cool. And then, um, oh, I could initialize naming the fields. So, you know, before I was just saying James 20, but I could actually specify. So if you do it in order, it matches. But, or you could do it out of order or only do some of them and use names. So here I'm only doing name. And what's it going to do with age? It's going to zero it. So it went to zero. And you can see that P1 age, zero. P1 name, what I gave it, and I, I named it. But you got to specify the name when you do it, just part of the fields. And, uh, and so what is the type of that, right? We've created our own type, which is interesting. So we created a type person. I don't know why it shows that main thing there, main dot person. What are your thoughts on that? It's, it's package name. It's, it's package main? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you for humoring me. <laughs> Taking the address of a struct, P1 is of type pointer to a person. So struct, give me the address, and then here I'm printing out address. It's kind of interesting. It just shows ampersand and that. Why is that? Anybody know? I don't. I'm not asking you, like, because I want you to tell me. I don't have the answer. Like, why didn't it just show me an address? I don't know. And then there's the type again, and then the values. Like, what if I wanted to send a postcard? New returns a pointer. Interesting to note that you don't have to change the dot notation when you've got the actual value and you don't go between the actual value and a pointer to it. It's still just dot. Yeah, that is cool. But other programming languages don't do have that. Thank you. I really appreciate you jumping in. I love the conversational thing. <laughs> to a point. Then I'm going to tell you, tell everybody, wait, let's move forward. <laughs> I'm a little punch drunk. I went to bed really late. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed. I'm having a good time, though. <laughs> the beer hasn't quite worn off. I stay up late, drinking beer, coating. It's the life. <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't drink beer, coating. It was, it was wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see, like, I woke up at 10. I was like... Jump in the shower, <laughs> pull on a shirt, let's go. Uh, so new, right? New gives me my dog pointer. What's my dog pointer called? My pointer dog called? What I call my dog? My pointer. I called my dog pointer a zero. Zero, right? So new gave me a pointer and, and uh, my dog, whatever, I can't even say it. You get what I'm saying, right? So here I said, hey, give me a new person. So that's going to give me a pointer. So when I uh, print out P1, it gave me this. It gave me, hey, you're pointing to that. And when I do the type, it's a pointer to that. And, uh, and then I could access that, the, the fields.
Can we use make with a struct? Interesting question. How many people say yes? How many people say no? Okay, let's go back up here. Can we use make with a struct? Look at the bottom of the paragraph. How many people say yes, we can use make with a struct? How many people say no, we can't use make with a struct? All right, let's, I'm, I'm going to throw my hat in with no. Even though I put this together, I don't totally remember. No, make is for slices, maps, and channels. Ah! <laughs> it's like that movie. What's that movie where everything's inside everything's inside everything? Inception. Inception, thank you. So, uh, seems like we've looked at this before. Creating a struct, and uh, we're actually creating it with the address. Instead of using new, we're just saying, hey, give me a pointer. So P1 is, if we were to look at the type of P1, what would the type of P1 be? What would you see printed out? Pointer main dot person. I'm guessing. I didn't run it. Run it. Tell me. But that'd be my guess. Would that be right? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. And uh, P1 name. I don't know what I'm showing you here. What am I showing you here? So this is not. No difference. Basically. Well, this one is with the address 11. Yeah. yeah and this no one's no address. All the rest of the yeah, no difference in the so. output. So why would you want to like create it with an address? Instead of, you know, create it as a pointer versus not a pointer. Well, maybe I'll just pass it around, then I could change it and actually change it, right? Because I have the pointer pointing to the place. Not to mention, if you do it by value, you have to get the copy of every send it into the function, which if you have a really big struct type, that's a one and seven, has to get the copy of it. Dude, that is an awesome point. So if you have a pointer and you're passing around, you're not passing around all the data. Right, and if it's a lot of data, that's going to take resources. <coughs> but uh, you know, if it wasn't a pointer, it's taking the resources. If it is a pointer, you're just passing around an address. That's a really good point. When you pass the coffee. Ooh, did you say pass the coffee? I wish. <laughs> you know, if you pass you the pointer, that will actually change. If you make changes, it'll change it. Yeah, if you pass the pointer, it'll change the original too. Okay. So here's the docs, you know, I mean, just so you could create an empty struct, a bang, and, huh? Not much point to it, huh? <laughs> much point to it but. I actually do that later, I think, I just to sort of like, I don't, I don't need fields, but I'm going to show you methods okay. and attach them I to guess. that and then show you interfaces and who cares if there's fields in there. Yeah. That's probably the only point. Yeah. <laughs> Name and type. So we saw that, right? So uh, name is, here it's actually name and age, and then type, string and in. And they have some examples of how you could do that. X, Y are both ints. X and Y are the names. Int's the type. U is the name. Float32 is the type. Exercises. Review. Slice versus slicing versus index access. Slices, maps, comma, OK, idiom. Make, new, struct. New makes you think of what? Todd got uh, what kind of dog? Zero. No, what kind? Pointer. I got a pointer. What did I call my pointer? Zero. zero. New, pointer, zero. It's cool, right? Like, you guys would be like, oh, I can't get that out of my head. And I'm kind of glad it's there. <laughs> Review questions. Before you exit, can you go back to that, uh, the last via doc thing here? Uh, Go is one of the few languages that lets you do that x comma y int, where you don't have to put the type after each parameter. And uh, same for parameters for a function, too. You've got two function parameters that are the same type right next to each other. You can just put the main, comma, main type. Most languages, you have to put the type for each and every parameter separately. And a shorter way of saying all that is just Go is awesome. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's probably because I was raised by, uh, well, my, I, I come from a long lineage of Pentecostal fanatics, proselytizers. And it's like I, I never really took to the good book, but 
Uh, I like finding things. Sometimes I find something and then I just become like the total proselytizer. <laughs> I feel like I'm a total go-laying proselytizer. Like, let's all come up and testify and, you know, and let's have church camp meetings. May I ask a quick question? If it's what, yeah. I, I wouldn't hear because of the jury duty thing. So these things that were being seen here, that we're seeing with the review questions, are they part of some of your slides that we'll be doing for... Yeah, so you, uh, you in Blackboard, you could get to all these presentations. So they're just more of the same that we have. That yeah, and then you go through and okay. yeah, you go through and just do all the questions and little okay. exercises, and they're pretty quick. And uh, if uh, and, and some of the some of them like you know are a little bit more challenging, and so you know try them. But then like I've put you know here in the code like when we get down here, like I have you do a gravitar deal. And uh, and that's from boot camp. And then here's the solution, or word counter, centered average, or swap two pointers, you know. And so these are some of the exercises we did. And here are the solutions. And try it on your own. If you can't get it, go copy the code and put it into yours. And at least you copied and pasted and took a cursory look at it. And that's fine. You got credit. You got the right word. I mean, that's what you guys do anyhow with each other. Right? It's like, I couldn't figure it out. And then somebody's like, look at my code. Or you just don't even ask them. You just go look at their GitHub, right? Like, oh, I know Daniel's got a GitHub. Or I know Shin's got a good GitHub. <laughs> and you go and you look, okay, there's Shin's stuff or Jenny's stuff. And you're like, sweet, there it is. Copy, paste, mine, mine's done. And, oh, that's cool how that works. And in the real world, that's called collaborating, which is great. <laughs> in school, they call it cheating. But that's actually what you do when you get into the workplace. I mean, look at Microsoft and Apple, right? I mean, they were built on top of collaboration. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, look at, look at what Xerox created, a graphical user interface. We're totally going to steal that. I mean, work with them. Or, yeah, we like that concept. We'll work with that. And then Microsoft's like, whoa, look what Apple did. We're totally going to steal that. I mean, or, I don't know, copy it. Great artists steal. <laughs>